On page 29 is a description of uh, atrial hypertrophy. And to be quite frank, this is not particularly relevant to us as paramedics in the pre-hospital setting. Um, uh, don't know that if it's even all that relevant for the in-hospital setting, uh, but I thought I would just describe it to uh, sort of tie it in with ventricular hypertrophy and also just uh, to help you understand that um, uh, why P waves uh, or the morphology of P waves is sometimes altered. So uh, where we see atrial um, hypertrophy uh, most commonly is in patients who have chronic left-sided failure. And um, so if blood is backing up into the atria, the atria have to work harder to expel that, that blood and they consequently become larger. So we want to look for the P waves in V1 or MCL1 to um, determine whether a patient has uh, atrial hypertrophy. And oftentimes when we're monitoring patients on lead 2, uh, we'll see P waves that look like this. They may be notched. Like, like that. When we look at uh, V1, we'll see a, a P wave which is biphasic, like this one here. So when you see a biphasic P wave in V1 or MCL1, if the initial phase of the uh, P wave, in other words, this phase here, is larger than the terminal phase, this phase here, then uh, you have a patient who has right atrial hypertrophy. Um, is it important really to distinguish between right and left atrial hypertrophy? No, not really, but uh, just for your interest's sake. And um, left ventricular uh, hypertrophy is more common. Um, so in this case, the terminal phase of the uh, biphasic P wave is larger than the initial phase here. And so this would be indicative of left atrial hypertrophy. Uh, but in fact, oftentimes when you look at V1, or MCL1, you'll just simply see a biphasic P wave and you'll have to squint to, to see which is larger, the initial phase or the terminal phase. Is it important? Probably not. It's just for your brain only, for your information only. This is not information I would document on your um, patient care reports, not something I would report to the triage nurse. Uh, even uh, ventricular hypertrophy, as I described in the previous presentation, that's more for your interest only, just you know, knowledge uh, that helps uh, you sort of determine that the, this may be a patient with a uh, uh, history of heart failure where you know, the patient's not able to, to tell you that information or doesn't have medication to suggest that uh, as an example. So this is more FYI than anything else. So here's an example of um, a 12 lead, and, and again, we look at V1, and here we have a biphasic P wave. If You have to look at it pretty closely because at a distance, it really looks like just an inverted P wave, as it does here as well, but this is uh, a biphasic P wave where the terminal phase is longer than the initial phase, and that's indicative of left atrial hypertrophy. Again, not critical information, and uh, I certainly wouldn't pass that information along when you're delivering a patient to the hospital.